Russia will be hit by new terrible drone strikes. Ukraine ramps up production of long-range UAVs. Ukraine's industry is ramping up production of long-range drones to help the Ukrainian armed forces circumvent restrictions on the use of weapons received from Western countries for strikes on Russian territory, the Wall Street Journal reports. According to the agency's sources, by the middle of this year, the country will produce about 500 drones per month. At first, Ukraine actively used Chinese drones, which are freely available on international internet sites. However, Ukraine gradually started producing its own drones using Chinese components. The agency clarifies that the Russian army is trying to strike at drone assembly sites. Several interviewed officials believe that Ukraine should use any means at its disposal to fight the delay in the allocation of a new US aid package. The armed forces of Ukraine regularly strike at military targets in the Russian Federation using various types of drones. For example, on the morning of April the 27th, Russian sources reported a drone strike on the Kuchevskaya airfield in the Krasnodar territory. Later, RBC Ukraine's sources confirmed the attack on the airfield and said that it was organized by the Security Service of Ukraine together with the Ukrainian Defense Forces. According to the published videos, the strike targeted a warehouse of control and correction modules for air bombs. They allow Russian troops to turn conventional bombs into guided aerial bombs. In addition, on the night of April the 24th, the Russian Federation reported a drone attack on facilities in the Smolensk and Lipetsk regions of the Russian Federation and information about fires at fuel and energy facilities appeared. Soon after, sources said that the security service of Ukraine, drones, had attacked two oil depots in Russia's Smolensk region. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, admitted that the situation on the front line has worsened, that Russia is actively attacking along the entire front and has achieved tactical success in some areas. The colonel general wrote about this in a telegram. The situation at the front has worsened. The enemy, trying to seize the strategic initiative and break through the front line, created a significant advantage in forces and means, and concentrated his main efforts in several directions. Active attacks are carried out along the entire front line, and there are tactical successes in some directions, he stressed, the commander-in-chief added that individual positions change from hand to hand several times during the day, which leads to unambiguous understanding of the situation. At the same time, he noted that they have observed an increase in the number and regrouping of Russian soldiers in the direction of Kharkiv, our troops are reinforced with artillery and tank units in the most dangerous directions. Much of the fighting has been taking place around Chesivyar, a Kiev-controlled stronghold which Russia has been trying to reach after seizing Avdiivka and new defensive lines had been taken up further to the west in some areas, with Sersky conceding the loss of territory to the advancing Russians. IT should be recalled that earlier, the spokesman of the Pentagon, Patrick Ryder, announced that the United States has started supplying Kiev with the main weapons needed by Ukraine. F-16's fighter jets provided to Ukraine will be based in underground bunkers and protected hangars in order to protect them from Russian strikes, Major Ilya Yevlash, a spokesperson for the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces has said. The military official said the advanced jets will be dispersed on different airfields and airstrips, and mock-ups will be used to mislead the enemy. Given our modest fleet of workboats, which for obvious reasons has shrunk in more than two years, such measures should have been introduced a long time ago. But, as they say, better late than never, Yevlash said. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said last week that F-16 aircraft will begin arriving in Ukraine this year, along with trained pilots and maintenance personnel. Addressing the Ramstein meeting, Austin said over the past two years, members of the defense contact group have provided Ukraine with over 70 medium and long-range air defense systems, thousands of missiles, over 3,000 armored vehicles, including more than 800 main battle tanks. Ukraine is due to receive its first much-anticipated U.S.-made F-16s this summer and its pilots have been training on the jets for months. The planes are expected to strengthen Ukraine's air defense amid intensified Russian strikes. Ukraine has long been asking for F-16s since the early stages of Russia's full-fledged invasion of the country in February 2022. According to the Associate Press, Ukraine may use Western air bases when it gets F-16s because the jets require high-standard runways and protective hangars. 
Kremlin has warned Ukraine's Western allies against providing Kiev with F-16s, with Putin saying in March that Western airbases that host F-16s for Ukraine would be legitimate targets for his armed forces.